she was uh, regarded when she was on that court as very much of a centrist, uh, characteristic of the way she behaved when she got to the United States Supreme Court. Some of her best friends on that court were some of the super conservatives of the court, Antonin Scalia, Robert Bork, and Clarence Thomas were three of her best friends on the D.C. Court of Appeals. In fact, when uh, it fell uh, President Clinton's lot to appoint her to appoint a successor to Byron White, who had retired, Ruth Ginsburg was quite controversial as a potential uh, appointee uh, among a lot of feminists in this country. Marty Ginsburg is probably more responsible for the good hard look that President Clinton took at Ruth Ginsburg in the face of what was considerable opposition in some quarters uh, because she was considered too moderate. Uh, but Marty had given up uh, a huge tax practice in New York to come down to Washington when she came to the court in the DC court in 1980. Uh, he continued, continued to do a lot of tax work. He taught at Georgetown, but he devoted himself to her career. And he was uh, ultimately, uh, by most people's um, uh, reckoning, uh, the, the, the real deal breaker uh, when Ruth was finally uh, uh, nominated by Clinton to succeed Byron White on the United States Supreme Court.